Welcome to KevJet, the podcast, Jen Grant. Hello. You're joining us from Nova Scotia. Yes, I am. And I hear it's cold today. Yeah, it looks a little cold out there. We're on uh, we're on the lake and uh, it's very beautiful. And also it looks gray and the lake looks cold and the trees are moving around. And yeah, you know, kind of cold. There was some there was a bunch of hail yesterday and I was like, I'm not interested. My family's yeah. on the South Shore and they sent photos of snow. Yeah. No, no, thanks. It's not happening here. We have, um, well, it's rain today, but it's very warm weather. I've been cutting the grass year round. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Sounds so nice. And speaking of over here, you are getting your little butt over here soon. That's right. Here we go. How excited are you? I'm excited. I was kind of uh, lightly like, like, I mean, I'm, I'm first I'm heading out West in Canada and then I come home for two days and then I go to Ireland and for two nights and then London for one night. So the, the, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like if you were going to, if you were trying to plan something so that your nervous system was settled, this is not the <laughs> route, the route that you would take. Um, but that's cool. I'm okay with it for now. Rock and roll, right? It's extreme. That's how I am described always. Extreme heavy hard rock. <laughs> you're doing two nights in Dublin and then you're coming over to do uh, one night over here in London. So it's mm -hmm. the 18th and 19th in Dublin and you're playing London on the 20th. That's right. I'm very excited to see you. I'm excited to be there and to see you. <laughs> Maybe we should go back and say we actually met, what, a year ago, kind of this was time it a year? yeah was it really? I was home oh. for my birthday which just happened last month oh, so it's okay. just almost a year friend anniversary, I guess oh my god <laughs> <laughs> we went out for lunch in Halifax yeah. Nova Scotia we did there's a Halifax here so I have to clarify that oh yeah that's right <laughs> which was lovely and we were chat 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 and it's been very nice and we've kept in touch since yeah so sweet it is. And uh, I'm looking forward to taking care of you when you come over to London. I'm looking forward to that too. Thank you. <laughs> too bad you weren't here longer. I know. I feel guilty because I'll be with my friend and bandmate, Kim Harris, who is amazing. And she has never been to Europe so or the UK. So she's um, just, yeah, she's just going to be there for a second. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's kind of exciting because then she'll be like, hmm, it was, it's kind of like that exciting bit where you're like, you catch every little thing that you can on the way. Like, the it's time game. to go to bed. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, get up, time to go to the airport. Yeah. Is this a show that you've spent time putting together or is it something you're going to wing? Guess what? I'm going to put it together tomorrow. <laughs> Jen Grant music, guys. It's a hot, hot page. Um, so I will be in Red Deer, Alberta on April 10th and then Edmonton at the Aviary on April 11th and then in Calgary which is sold out at the, on the 12th at Festival Hall before I go over to Dublin and London. Wow so you're gonna be ready for a rest when you get back. Do you rest? Um, <laughs> yes well I am home for two seconds between the days so yeah but this is this week this has been a really nice restful because last week was I was sick last week um, with some weird virus that I got probably at the Junos, uh, which was a really, really busy, crazy social time. A four, like it was a little four day. Um, there was an article actually, I posted it, but it was like spring break for Canadians. And it was about like, it was like Nelly Furtado, da, 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 da. and they're like, and Jen Grant just was everywhere. <laughs> How Drinking was it? Espresso what? martinis. I had so many espresso martinis that I was getting like stomach spasms and I had to like, go to a pharmacist. Were you awake <laughs> for like the whole week? Well, I was, I, for the first two nights, like the first night, my dear friend, Jim Cuddy, we did this, he did this show, Jim Cuddy and friends and myself and our good friend, Rose Cousins and my darling, Jill Barber and a bunch of other people. We are all singing t together and um, I was singing on tons of songs and I, I came, my manager came from Ireland. So I didn't really want to like be out too long. And she was with my little kids. And so I, I got home like at a normal time that night. And then Friday I had an art opening. I did this exhibit of portraits of all my 
songwriting collaborators on my album, Champagne Problems and Abstracts. And so that was a, a night where we had a bunch of people there for the art and I did like a performance with Kim. And then Friday was the awards night and that was like a big social situation and uh, there was this, there's this Jim Cuddy suite jam room thing. And so anyways, I went to bed at four and then the next, the, then there was a gala night and there was just some like after parties that we played and then that sweet thing again. And I had my kids with me who are three and a half and five. They were, were great, but they were in the hotel with the babysitter and, and we were swimming, but I was like, you know, I was kind of. I would say I was sort of half on duty with my parenting, but my husband was away on tour with Kevin Drew. So when I got home, I was just like beyond exhausted. And then you just going to start it all over again, but involve well, airplanes. Today show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yesterday was nice. <laughs> wow. Um, so the Junos were exciting in Halifax. Yeah, it was really, it was, it was, it was great. I, my record was not nominated and then I was thought it might be nominated because I think it's such a great record and it's such a cross section of Canadian talent. And I personally feel like it's a bit of a historical document of the the Canadian culture and the music scene of, of this year. But, I, you know, to for it to not be nominated is doesn't take away its value or mine. And so I was probably like the top one of my top three albums at the moment. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a, it was a huge kind of undertaking, I felt, but, and I think it's a great record. And it's, I've been steadily kind of producing videos and content the whole while and this whole art project and everything around it too. But I was really, really, really happy to see all of the, the spotlight on all of the Indigenous artists at the Junos. And I just feel really comfortable and happy to take a back seat if any, further and more like indigenous artists in Canada can can have a light on them, then I'm all for it. I don't I think I've reached a place in my life and that and post parenthood where I am like, uh, whatever. I love the Junos. I love a party. I love all that stuff. Um, I love recognition for all my hard work, but I don't need it. I don't need it for like to know my own worth of my of my work, I guess, or myself. Did you feel that maybe the East Coast took a back seat to the Junos? Well, I think that in general, Canadian music awards are generally quite like Ontario, Toronto focused. And that's what everyone says. And I mean, it sounds like they're right to me. Usually that's kind of the emphasis is like Toronto is the hub of the you know Canadian music scene. But I don't really feel like it is. I think that there's amazing music all over Canada and all over the country. And I have sure. friends all over the country and all over the world. And so, you know, Jamila was a great representation for us. She's a, she's a reggae artist and Morgan Tony's an indigenous artist from here. And there was like someone else, but yeah, it was pretty, oh, Rich O'Coin was nominated for like, um, like, you know, I forget, um, electronic or something, but like, yeah, it just, it wasn't like highly featured, but I think that I did a pretty good job of just being everywhere. And, uh, we, we also, I forgot to mention that we had, like I had, I organized a, a concert on the roof of my, one of my favorite restaurants, Edna. And so I, I played so, like, you know, maybe half of my record on top of the roof. And then I played, I, my new song, which is to raise awareness for Palestine and to raise funds for Palestinian Red Crescent Society and, uh, organ and collaborated with um, the organizers of the protests and March in Halifax who marched their, they marched and protested up to the restaurant. And then so the police like blocked off the streets and everything. And we had the all the people from the march there. And I had all that stuff filmed. So we're putting together some footage just to continue to raise awareness for Palestine. That's amazing. And that is sort of an exclusive Gen Grant available everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, it's called Hello Everyone Ceasefire Now. Hello. It's mm -hmm. available on my band camp. And... And so far, we've raised around $3,300 for the song. All the funds go directly to Palestine Red Crescent Society. And I'm just going to continue standing up for that as long as I'm alive. Amazing. Amazing. I have friends over here in the UK who are who have messaged me several times um, since they've heard that you're coming over. And they play that track over and over. Great. Yeah, there, there's 35 artists on it from across Canada and a few from Australia and and Ireland. 
who are on the song because it was written to be like an anthem and I really wanted to have as many voices on it as I could to, you know, because I really think that there is a power to collective singing to send a message, you know, and I think that artists have a responsibility and that people in general have a responsibility to um, stand up for the humanization and peace of all people. And I would love to sing it at the March in London. Would be great, would it? So you have to stay a Ready little bit go. longer. <laughs> I'll extend my flight or whatever I have to do. <laughs> when are the marches? Are they on Saturdays? They're usually on Saturdays or Sundays. It depends on um, what happens in the city. We have train strikes at the moment, which oh. throw like. And what day is my show on? Saturday. Great. So I land could... at 12.30 p.m. at the airport, so I could go straight there. Let me look into it Saturday. Look it up. 20th. Let's do it. I would really like, it's, it's been a thing that I've daydreamed about a little bit. What about the ECMAs? The ECMAs are coming up. Are you involved with that at all this year? Yeah, I have six ECMA nominations for my record. And I'm going to be heading to the hotel with my husband, my kids, our miniature Labradoodle named Bird, and our new hamster. <laughs> it's very rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and when are... we're going to play the award show and we're going to play a show and I'm going to, I have a stylist now <laughs> that I've been working with. And um, so we'll just see, we're just, just making the most of all the things. And it's over on the island this year, isn't it? It is. It's in uh, the place of my birth. Very nice. Which is Prince Edward Island in the Maritimes. Yes, correct. And um, I believe our wonderful friend Rose is co-hosting with Daphne That's Doyle. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and Daphne. Oh my God. I had a lot of fun with Daphne at the Junos as well. Fun. Hooray. So it's going to be know, another big party. Write me into the script, but I haven't received anything. <laughs> it's going to be a big, another big party. No I sleep. know. I'm already exhausted. <laughs> Your album, we briefly talked about uh, Champagne Problems. One of my yes. favorites. One of my favorites. Um, Judy is in my head every day. You she, give she, me a reason. She lives in my head that's and my really heart true. because you know that's Kim's mom. Is it? I didn't know yes. that. So Kim's the story of Judy is the story of Kim being adopted in Corner Brook, Newfoundland, in the early '80s by her mom Judy and Sam, and we wrote that song for Judy on her birthday. She passed away about maybe like 13 or 14 or 15 years ago, but, and I never met her, but I certainly feel quite a connection to her. So do I. She's, she lives in my head um, every day and she's so sweet. placed through my sound system every it's evening. Amazing. Singing that song with Kim is an incredible, incredible human and um, singer, my God, and songwriter. And so I don't know if you've ever come across Kim before, but she playing her is, you say you have? Yes. Playing with her is just, she just, she like, exu she also sings in Tim Baker's band. She has her own stuff, but she's, she really feels really at home in, a, in another person's band. And she's just such a asset as a band member. Like she just, she just exudes like feeling and love is kind of how I feel about it. And she's fucking hilarious. And she's <laughs> so fucking talented. So it's wonderful to have her. And we've, we've never played. I don't think just as a duo before. Um, so that should be nice. Wow. You can probably hear my dog barking just because no, I can't. they're in the next room. Um, and every afternoon they watch, uh, oh, what is it called? Country file or move away what? to the country or something. And every what time they show a horse or a dog or a donkey, what? he goes mental. He's just a breach on, oh but God. he thinks he's, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so we can't watch things with animals. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's and amazing. I have a little tiny um, toy Yorkie. Oh, she's really? Penelope, and she doesn't know what's happening. So as soon as he starts barking, she thinks she's got to protect the, the house oh. and she's running around like crazy, I can imagine. Cute. So that's, that's my cute. little life. Yeah. And they uh, protect the studio. We have a studio and uh, yeah. they, think, they think they are uh, the studio dogs. Oh, well, you know, they sound like good dogs. They are. They are. They're a handful. <laughs> Great. Well, um, it was lovely to catch up with you, Jen. Grant. Yeah, you too. And I can't wait to see you. And I'm going to bring all my friends and we're going to have a great okay. night. Okay. I can't wait. 
Lovely. Thanks, Jen Grant. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.